Hi everyone, it's Miss Olson, and um, today we're going to talk about how to turn our beginning to our galaxy painting that we started um, into more of a completed look um, using toothbrush painting um, for the stars, and we're also going to be using some spray bottle painting um, if you'd like as well. So first things first, when you get this back, um, I did kind of press it down um, with a weighted um, mat so that it could the edges would be not as curled, but if they are, I'm going to do it again. So don't be let that bother you too much. Um, the other thing is we really wanted the darker edges to have contrast. And if you didn't finish painting yet, that's step one. There are going to be paints out. We don't want to focus on that too much today. If you were finished, move on. But one thing you do want to look for before you move on is for that contrast in your sky. Um, when you're looking out in outer space, it is dark, it is black, it has contrast. So if you're seeing little grayish areas on the outer edge or it looks really light because you used a lot of water, let's fix that now. So I'm going to finish my inner painting. If you didn't yet, most of us did. Um, we're going to get black opaque paint. You, you can make sure it's opaque by making sure you don't have too much water on your brush and just filling up anything that was not black and opaque from last time. Grab your black opaque paint, dip it in there, and go back over anything that was not finished yet. Now, we were supposed to have a blended edge from the outer color to the edge, and I did blend mine, but I'm seeing that that even looks a little too much like gray. So I'm now going to finish that blend by getting some of that black and putting it where it was touching the green. I'm making it touch the green by pulling some green out with my brush, and I'm blending it where the two are meeting. So edit and fix anything first that you were not happy yet with yet. And I'm gonna show you that a little better here. Um, so anything that was not blended on the outside, I'm now gonna get my watery brush and blend my green edge with the black. Just fix or edit anything that needed it, if you need to. Now after that, I'm now going to move into my galaxy star painting. So what we're gonna do is think about the fact that this was your galaxy and then the outer edge is outer space. So there is that fading happening. Um, and if it's not happening, we wanna make it happen even more. We want it look like there's kind of this starry effect. So we have toothbrushes for um, painting the white contrasting opaque paint. And then we also have some spray bottles, which can be used for creating that starry illusion um, that it's not just a galaxy, not just a circle floating in black space on your paper, but it's outer space. Um, now the spray bottles will be in a central location in the middle of the room in the beginning. Um, when you're finished with it, put it back um, or find the color that you need. There's one of each color in the room. And we did use an analogous color scheme on the wheel, um, so we made sure that we had colors that could blend. So we are sticking with that color scheme that you chose. They might not work right away. You might have to fiddle with it a bit. So I'm going to show you the spray bottle portion first. I'm going to do a practice, and it's working really well. I'm going to do a practice test on my paper to see how it comes out. And if it's coming out really thick, like this just did, I'm going to want to go a little farther away. That's why we have our placemats. Going a little farther away, I'm finding the area where I want this yellow, and I want the yellow to kind of come out from where I already had yellow. So I'm making it look a little more starry coming out. I'm gonna now use green, I'm gonna do a test spray. It might take a few sprays, and it's coming out pretty thick, so I'm actually just gonna to go to the edge here. I'm just gonna use a couple tiny dots of this because it's a little too thick for me. And I'm kind of using this as a connecting element between where the green and black are touching. And I had a little blue in my work too. I'm going to use a tiny bit of blue. I'm going to practice spray. It's not even coming out, so I need to kind of check the nozzle. Make sure it's open. But there's a area that says open. Maybe the blue's not meant to be. Um, I'll try to get this blue one working for you, but 
Oh, okay. So it's coming out really, really dark and really thick. So I don't even know if I want this color. I think just a tiny bit towards the edge is fine. I don't even know about that. All right, so that's a little much. So I'm gonna move on from the blue. All right, so the main part of today is this actual stars. So we're gonna use the white for that. We're gonna use our toothbrush. I'm gonna show you specifically how to spray it on your paper so that you're not spraying neighbors, neighbors artwork, or yourself. Because um, splatter painting or spraying with toothbrush is fun and it's gonna create a great effect on your work, but we're not gonna be using it um, in an inappropriate way. And um, we wanna make sure we're keeping our table neat and our, we're doing what we want with the material. So I'm first just gonna dip the tip of the brush, toothbrush into the paint. It's not toothpaste, it's paint. And I'm going to do some practice sprays on my paper. So you wanna make sure that the toothbrush is pointing away out from you. You wanna put your finger on the top where you put the paint and then spray out. And you'll see how it's coming out and you can say, hmm, is that too much paint? Is it a little bit too much? I need a little less on there. It's looking a little splattery. I want it to look like stars. I'm finding my groove here with little, little tiny ones, tiny flicks with tiny dots. I'm gonna try that on my paper. So now I'm gonna go to my paper. I'm gonna do these flicks of stars on my paper, mainly in the black area. And the key is to do variation on your paper so that um, it's looking like it's a natural thing. And the other key is to do some clusters, so kind of like a span of stars in some areas. So I'm gonna go and focus a little bit more over here in a cluster, kind of make it look like it's spraying out across my paper. I'm going to show you again in this corner how to do a cluster in the darker area for contrast. So I'm spraying it. All right. So now I'm getting these clusters of dots on my page. And I'm going to show you one more over here. All right, so I'm continuing on with that, sorry. I'm going to now make sure that I have a one more cluster of dots by spraying in kind of like a stream of stars here. And what you're also doing with these stars is you're kind of connecting that outer space portion to the galaxy. So it doesn't look like, you know, there's this floating blob in the middle of your paper. And that's kind of what those beginning splatters were about to, kind of making there's the continuation of light and color out into outer space. And you do want sort of that, that broader star effect by splattering from afar first. And then you also want these streams as well. So I'm gonna do one more out here. I'm gonna do a stream by getting really close and focused in here so that it looks more opaque in that area. And you want it to kind of flow naturally and randomly, and that's gonna create more of that starry effect. And it is fun, but don't do too much. When you're done, you can stop when you know or think you're done. And I will show you my final before I'm done. So now I still have my brush out. So these yellow splatters, I didn't have as much control. I'm not as happy with, so I'm now gonna say, hmm, what can I edit or add? I'm gonna wipe my fingers on the nearby rag. And then I think these yellow splatters need a little bit more blending. Oh, rinsing my brush. 
a little more blending happening in here with these yellow splatters. There's a little much. My white back out. So yeah, we can still edit as we go with that painting process. The splatters are good, but if something's not working, it's important to know how to edit and change it. So I'm just blending them in a little bit so they don't look like splattered paint, but they look like natural parts of my galaxy. And I'll show you how that blending of that part changed it. All right, so it's gotten better. I could still fix that a little bit out here. So yeah, you can edit what you have, what you started, and make sure that you're happy with everything, especially those splatter portions that we added. It's okay if it doesn't work exactly how you want it. You have a brush nearby to edit it, blend it in, and that's the cool thing about paint is it's never final. You can always edit and add and change. So um, I might edit this a little bit. Um, like the galaxy yellow splatters are a little much, but you can see where I did this um, star painting. It's actually working. So that part I'm happy with. I will edit the outside edge a little bit more. I'm just going to fast forward through this portion probably for you, but you can see um, my final on the board as well. Just finishing the blending of these. And I said, I like what the green did. I like what the yellow did out here, but inside my galaxy, it just didn't work out so well. And that's okay. And we can edit and that's how to change and grow as an artist. And that's why paint can stay wet for a little while and we can edit with water and our brush. It's important to see that too, our process. All right, so this is my final. I hope you have a wonderful painting day. Um, you're focused on adding those stars in the outside, starting with your spray um, to create some continuity between your galaxy and the outside, and then um, editing anything to make sure it's complete so that we have our finished galaxy painting um, today. Remember the stars can stream a little bit into your galaxy to create that continuity of space. Um, and you do want variation of far away ones and then clusters as well. I'm going to show you what not to do because I did not do that. You want to make sure that it's away from you and that your finger is pointing away so that it splatters down. If you're doing this and you flick and it's facing up and you flick out with your finger, this is all going to come at you. So you want to point it down, put your finger on the end and flick so that it goes down. Um, have a wonderful art class and I will see you next time. Thank you.